All right, gentlemen, we got something a little bit different for you today. I'm here with Tanner Rowe. You guys know him, he's the COO here at Exceptional Gent. And today we're gonna to be talking about boot care. Serious boot care. Gentlemen, boots are something for your feet that, um, Tanner, you could probably talk a little bit more about this. You work in the oil fields. Tell us a little bit about a good pair of boots and why it's so crucial. Well, boots are important for a number of reasons. Number one, protecting your feet, but if you work on your feet all day long or you're out in extreme conditions, you need something that's going to support your foot as well as your back, your hips. It makes everything go better for you, especially if you spend a lot of time in them. The boots are a huge part of being comfortable in the work environment and also taking care of yourself. And guys, the reason we're talking about this is that Exceptional Gent isn't just about dress clothes and dress shoes and look and fly. I guess I can say fly. I'm kind of old. I can do that. I'm pretty flat for a white guy, right? <laughs> for a white guy. For a white guy. A That's white right. Guy. It's also about you guys out there who are busting your chops every day. You blue collar guys out there. You guys are gents too. And we've got a couple different pairs here. I think Tanner. What brand are yours? These are whites. These are whites. All right. Mine are Nicks. So I mean, there's a couple different ones. We're both here in the Pacific Northwest. Both great, great companies. Great boots. Um, but a quality pair of boots is something that you, you've got to have. It's a part of your wardrobe. Whether you're working out in the shop, I mean, we are coming to you from Tanner Shop here, and it's a fantastic man zone. Let me tell you what, it is a man cave of epic proportions. Uh, you can't see it, but the bike is just over there. We'll, we'll be showing you that a little later. Um, but we're talking about boot care and really thinking about what it is, of, you know, why we care for our boots. What products do you like to use for your boot care? Well, my personal favorite is the Obanoffs. I just use their leather oil, and the reason I use the leather oil a lot is because of the fact that where I work out, or even if I'm at home I'm doing stuff, I'm typically in relatively wet conditions, so I like to make sure that my leather doesn't get dry and cracked, and that oil is real important, especially when you're when you spend good money on a really good pair of boots, you want them to last as long as possible, and using the leather oil really helps 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 the longevity of the life of the boot. Yeah, and I too am a fan of Obanoffs, but I use the heavy duty LP and uh, on the farm where I have, uh, where I live, you know, something, I could be in and out of mud, I could be oil, I could be working on a track, I mean, it could be a variety of things. And so today, you know, we're just going to be kind of wax and philosophical and talking about boot care and kind of cutting back and forth and talking about why it's so crucial for us to actually maintain our boots. And I think boots are a second skin, really. They, yeah, they are. absolutely. Yeah. They absolutely are. So let's talk about the basics of caring for a boot. How do you begin your process with taking care of your boots? Well, usually what I'll do is I'll make sure that I go over the boot, try and get most of the dust off of it. Dust, any mud that's sticking to it, get it nice and clean so you have a clean surface on your leather that doesn't have a whole bunch of dust crammed on it so you're not just smearing dust around with your oil. Keep it pretty simple. Now, do you pull your laces? Some guys pull their laces. I don't Some know. guys pull them because they don't like them getting dirty. Um, I just figure they're work boot laces, so they're going to get dirty. Yep. And especially if you have leather ones, it doesn't hurt getting a little bit of wax on them. Or oil, for that matter. No, I would agree, too. Is that if you guys, if you're sealing your laces, it's just going to make them that much more durable. And a quality pair of boot laces is something that a lot of guys think about. You, just, you go to Walmart, you go to... Wherever you've got in the country, you know, some country you guys have you know, red wing boots or whatever, you got to invest in good laces. It's something that, you know, you will feel the difference when your foot is tied up nice and tight. And it's just really super important. So, um, all right, now that we've got it all dusted off, how do, you, how do you proceed? Well, what I like to do is real simple. Everything about me is pretty simple. I like to sit here, I take my oil. Get a little bit on this cotton swab that comes with it. If you can see that right there, get let some of the excess excess drip off, and then I just start rubbing it over the boot, working it in. Now I put it on relatively thick, but not too much. There's there's a lot to work with. Well, a lot of guys don't understand that you know your boot is like your skin. The leather soaks up the moisture, and the more you keep it moisturized the longer this boot is going to last for you. You know, like Tanner's oil, if you can see mine, mine's kind of a paste look to it. Um, and mine's kind of the same thing. You're going to take your rag and you kind of scoop up as much as you can get on there. And you're really just going to take your boot and you're just going to start working it into the leather. 
And it's going to look kind of nasty, but it's a beeswax base, you know, yep. like the oil. And it really kind of depends on what the condition that you're working in. Um, also, the condition of how long it's been since you waxed the boots. I haven't oiled or waxed these boots in a while. So you'll probably see that on some of this over here, the leather is just soaking that up. And that's a real good thing to see. You want that to happen. Well, and you know, it's funny. I was thinking about it as we were talking about putting this video together. I used to watch my dad get to do his boots. And he would, before winter time, would actually go in and start doing this and talk to us about, you know, why you got to have a good pair of boots and why you don't want to, you know, buy crap and you want to invest in things that, you know, and, and people and relationships that are going to be, make things better for you. Um, you know, you've probably been doing this oil field thing long enough there. Have you seen guys kind of not buy the right footwear? And, oh, sure. Yeah. Yep. Talk to me a little bit about that, what happens when they don't do it. Well, number one, the boots don't last and their feet are miserable, you know, they start getting all kinds of problems, um, you know, whether or not it's you know trench foot because their feet aren't staying dry or they just fall apart and they're miserable because their feet are uncomfortable um i understand that money at times is always a uh, you know sometimes it's hard to come up with you know a good chunk of change for a really nice pair of boots but what i will say though is that a more expensive boot oftentimes you'll buy them one time and if you take care of them you'll have them for six seven years as for the cheap boot You'll be replacing them every six to seven months. So you end up yeah. spending a lot more money over the course of seven years than you would if you just spent the money once, which with some of these guys that make great boots, but the price tag can be a little bit, you know, eyebrow raising, but it's worth it in the end, especially if you're working on your feet every day out in the elements. I would wholeheartedly agree, man. I think it's, it's something that a lot of dudes buy a pair of boots thinking, oh man, I'm not going to, you know, they get the cheap ones from the sporting goods store or something like that and think it through I think doesn't want to stay put in it. No it doesn't. Uh, right. Sure it doesn't. But oh man you can see that. So sure. As this boot has been soaking it up, I don't know if you can see it here in the camera over here, that this top portion's been soaking this up like crazy. And I haven't done my boots since last winter, but this stuff does protect the leather. And I think it's just it's it, it, this stuff you can do holsters with. You can do briefcases. Um, man, what are some other things? Have you, have you done your seat of your bike or anything holsters? like that? Um, I haven't done the seat of the bike, but holsters, belts, gloves, um, you know, any type of, you know, good quality leather product that you really want to take care of, it's good to keep it oiled up or waxed up or whatever you need to do to protect it. Guys, I tell you what, I've even done this on one of my wife's purses. She had a yep. nice leather purse that was handmade, hand stitched, she picked up. And yeah, I put the Obanoffs on it and it really, it protected it. Um, she actually had somebody, a waiter at a restaurant, spill water into the purse. Uh, ruined the contents of the purse, but at the same time, it actually protected the purse because it was all oiled up. So um, it's amazing what this stuff does. And there are, I mean, there are all sorts of boot protectant products. This is just something that Tanner and I know that works. And that's why we do this stuff. We know that we're bringing you lessons that maybe you guys haven't heard before. And, you know, we want you guys to live your best life. And, you know, your best life may be protecting your feet.